this is going to be my first attempt at making an oil, waste oil fired heater. And I've got my own ideas. I've watched you guys on YouTube do some. So this is what I'm going to try. Being in the pool business, I got an old Purex CFW series stainless steel filter. Um, we use them fire cans that we take out camping in the desert with them. And the stainless holds up pretty good. Um, right now, to make my burner, I've got some old inch and a half black iron pipe. And then I found a blower off a heater. I'm not sure if it's old high E Lars. I'll fire this up, check it, and make sure it's okay. And we'll go from there. I've come up with some more parts for the project. I found a coupling. This is the nipple I took off plug I found on my stuff. This is really nice because so far everything we got here is stuff that's been around nothing bought. At worst to do my fittings if I have to I'll have to do some rethreading. I'm going to take this tee off and then I'll put a plug in one end to feed the oil through. Air is going to come through the other. I found an old uh, Edison elbow in my pile too. So that's how I'm going to feed into the can right now. The original plan on this was to use this T. I was going to pull out both reducers and then use a plug for my feed end so my fuel came in from the top. I didn't feel like drilling through that so I'm going to leave that reducer. I found another reducer. There's a couple more on pipes I had. One of them was a bear dog to get out but this is what we're going to do and then I'll slide some quarter inch copper tubing through here. So this will be my feed from the top once I thread it in. It's going to come in, the air is going to come in this side and we'll slide it down and try a burner. That's the nice thing about as built. As you build it, you can decide how you're going to build it. Dug through my brass fittings looking for oil supply. <laughs> this is a, it's a burner orifice. So I'll drill this out. I couldn't find my swamp cooler stuff for quarter inch copper so I found in my old heater pilots here's some quarter inch aluminum tubing that's what we're going to use to feed the oil down there's my T assembly so I just want to make it a little tight this is going to be loose having the you can see that right there that's not going to fit I just want something a little bit tighter to feed this oil down Air is going to be coming in here, and I guess, I don't know, we'll pop this tube into about here, but we'll drill this out, make a little better fit. So here's the assembly. I've drilled out the little burner orifice that I've had, and it fits a little better. So my oil feed tube, this is what's going in the end here. I've got to control it. I found a little, this is a, um, yeah. It's a quarter inch ball valve. I'm not sure if it's going to give me the accuracy, you know, over a needle or other kind of valve, but we'll try it and we'll see what happens. I got an old um, three port valve body. I'll stuff some used guts in here. And I got some PVC, so I'm going to take and I'll slide the galvanized right in. So I just need to make some cuts. So I'm putting my stuff together. I found me used to murder some guts and all this is going to do is take the air that's coming in and then just be able to bypass it so whatever I want to send out to the oil burner I can, whatever I just want to release I can if I have too much. So blower, I went ahead found me a plug wired up, a little more permanent, which I'm sure should be okay and work. Yeah, she's fired so... I got to get some fuel supply, oil supply. Okay, so theoretically burner ready, oil feed in. We'll get the blower hooked back up. And there's our control valve for the oil feed. Um, I think a quick reservoir. These old Stay Right TX pool filters, cartridges. This one had been in a fire. I'm just going to flip it upside down. It's a quarter inch male thread and then I can go straight up to my tubing and I think I'm just going to take it and 
strap it on this post up here and that will be a feed for now because I'm getting antsy it's been a couple hours I want to fire this thing up I'm batting pretty good this morning <laughs> so I got my tank and I found another barb fitting an eighth inch pipe by quarter inch to go over this quarter inch pipe thread on the end of this so this is going to be I'm not even going to clean it up I think this thing ought to just take all this crap so we'll put this on we're getting close on a bungee quarter up to a pole and let's see what we got so I've cut some tubing on my tank I lied I didn't use bungee cords I use ratchet straps so here's the piece of poly tubing attached to the valve oh we've got the other piece here so my fittings on the end of the filter let's slide that up and in oh let's put some oil in there see what happens it goes down doggone it it was rainy this morning and it was cold and that's why I want to have some heat and now that I'm ready to fire it up <laughs> so I've got another filter tank that's got a little bit different lid set up it's not one piece so I'm gonna take this top piece off here and this is gonna be a lid for the tank up here and there you have it going to go ahead let this get started and then once it gets hot we're going to give it give us some air see what happens let's give a plug on the blower I've got just a little bit in here right now Still kind of smoky, not too clean. So let's adjust a little more air, just up. There's better. We're getting a little more heat. I don't want to. I don't want to put it out. Pour a little more. Now we're getting some nice. Just cleaning up some. I'm gonna put some more air in. That cleaned it up quite a bit. Hardly any smoke at all now. Oh, let's go a little more air. I might need some more fuel for this. 